Welcome back to TechSpress, guys. I'm going to show you today how to get started with an actual portfolio using Canva. Totally for free, guys. So in order to get started, first of all, you need to sign into Canva and choose a personal portfolio template. So here you can see that we are into the Canva.com. Uh, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description, guys, just in case you don't have really anything here into Canva. I'm going to hit and to create a design. And here what you can do is to search what is the custom template or the custom size you want to get started with. Or what you can do is just to focus here and to search your contents into Canva. And here, usually here into the templates, what I'm going to be doing here is to click here and just type portfolio. Now, automatically, it's going to be showing you what kind of portfolio you want to get started with. Well, that will be like very creative portfolio, portfolio presentations, portfolio website, and so on and on. So I'm going to hit now into search for portfolio and it's going to be showing you lots of templates where you can just get started with. You can start from scratch if you want to directly here into the upper side and create a design, but I can totally suggest to use a template. It's going to be much more faster for you to implement all the elements you wanted to. And then later on, you can add your own, um, let's say your own portfolio, issues, images, videos, uh, links, and all of that. So as you should see here, this presentation actually doesn't look that bad. So I'm going to just click to this element and let's go for customize this template. Automatically, this one should be sending it directly into the editor of the actual Canva. So now we are inside the actual editor of Canva. Now this is the part where you wanted to get started by editing the actual template that you chose uh, with your customization. So here, you want to make a strong first impression. So here, this is the part where you want to customize the cover by adding your name. You can add a tagline, a professional photo, moving into the intersection. The best thing and the best stuff about a template is that they already have, uh, let's say, the elements. So you just needed to fill information as it appears in here. For example, here I have the page number one, the presentation. Page number two, the about me section. The next one is the introduction. Then we have the portfolio. Then we have a uh, break slide. Then we have the hour mission, uh, our mission as well, the statistics, and so on and on. So this is the part when I told you guys the templates are much more faster to use now these days. And of course, the elements that you should see here can be edited, of course. So here what I just do here is just to delete my stuff and add my own elements as I do here. Now next here, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to show you is how you can improve, how you can add the elements. If you haven't used Canva before. And so the upper side, you see that we have the tools where we can just edit the elements that are inside our presentations. For example, if I clicked into this title, I can edit the font color, the bolding stuff, the different font here, uh, the alignment, the list, the effects, animate, positions, the tribal transparency, and we can even copy or lock the position if you wanted to. Now into the left part, we have the design that we created. We can look out for more designs as we are editing this one. Just clicked into the element you wanted to, let's say replaced it, and automatically it's going to be doing the job uh, as it is. So the about me section can be fitting or can be edited from this one. If I click here into the elements, these are stuff that I can use for my presentation. For example, I can use shapes, I can use graphics, I can use and generate my own image generator if I wanted to, totally for free. Adding photos, video, different audios, charts, stickers, frames, and so on and on. Even I can edit different kind of text. I have my templates. Here is the stuff about my own brand template. Today I don't want to be focusing a lot on that. Here I can upload my own elements. Here I can draw inside here. And inside the application, you can discover new feature that can be helping you to, let's say, do stuff much more faster for example use the image to upscaler to boost the image quality for example so that's totally optional for you guys now what i'm going to be doing here is just to do something easy for example here how to create a portfolio i can just delete the elements that i do not want to see let's say that i'm going to go and change the name let's go for amanda whoops whatever now here i have the website I'm going to head into uploads. I'm going to select my image that I uploaded. I'm going to just drop it inside the image that was before. Another tool that I can give you to showcase a little bit more of your products is by using links. For example, here into my personal skills, let's say for example that I have uh, stuffed skills about photographing here. 
And here, what I wanted to do is to add a custom link. So uh, let's assume that I have an actual video uh, into Vimeo, right? So I choose and I have the portfolio of all my information, all my skills about the photography and videos and all that. I linked and I'm gonna put it here. And now what I do is to go for the three dots and choose the element to set link. Inside linked, here I paste the same link, right? And I only highlighted the here section and I paste the link of Vimeo of my work there. So here works as an actual displayed mode linked. We can build credibility by including testimonials and recommendations. If you have position and feedback from college or clients, you can feature them before the actual contact to us. For example, here, I just go for add page and go for design. And here, instead of going for portfolio, you can report for recommendation. And here is filled your feedback, testimonials, and edit it as you uh, do here your template. Now here, what you want to do is download out your element, your file, depending on how you wanted to present your documentation. But I can show you this is a portfolio that you can attach to a document. Then what you want to do is to focus into the PDF uh, standard. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to review how it actually looks my portfolio in this actual PDF file. As you see, actually, it looks really professional. It looks really great. And all of the elements looks um, as it is, of course, really, really great. If you find that there's something that is not working correctly, for example, the link that we created into our PDF or something, a message spelled, whatever, you can always come back to into Canva, edit those elements and make the show to download it again. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. We now have a really great, strong, creative portfolio created into Canva. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more design tips. And hit the notification bell, guys. You can wait to see the amazing portfolios you create happy designing with Canva. See you soon.